Hey guys, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 31 of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last time, we didn't do much other than get the bottle of gold dust from the Goron race, which is still kind of productive, I guess. I don't know. And between these two episodes, I did I figured out that there are actually quite a few things that we can do between now and the next temple. There's plenty of heart pieces, plenty of masks, and some special items that we can get to. But... None, none of none of them I really think I want to do in this cycle, so I'm just going to go ahead and reset time. Hopefully I'm not making a huge mistake here or something. I don't think I am, but yeah. Why did I just say, but yeah, I would say that. I should stop that. It's just, a bad of a, it's just as bad of a habit as saying, um, uh, 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 e. Uh. Okay. Oh, I lost all my rupees, that's right. Do I lose the gold dust too? I don't know. Because it would be kind of useful if I didn't lose the gold dust, please. Okay, dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. <laughs> and as always, we're going to go ahead. Whoa, what the? The cricket throws to the ocean through the west gate. Yep, that's our next destination, the ocean. The ocean. But first, we're just going to go ahead and play the inverted song of time. And we'll go collect some heart pieces and masks and stuff. You know, stuff like that, you know. Don't you know it? Before we move on to the ocean. Because we can't move on to the ocean as a Goron. Look at this. We're just going to drown there. And it's going to put salt in our wounds and it's going to be horrible. So let's not do that. Alright, so. Uh, what was I going to check? Oh yeah, gold dust. It is gone. Okay. Well, I'll just get that later then. But. Uh, for now, there's actually one thing that I want to do first. You should do, definitely do this first when you go back in time. We're going to go ahead and warp to uh, Snowhead. And you're going to want to go back into Snowhead Temple, actually. In, okay, wrong way. There we go. Snowhead. And you're going to want to be Got again, or Goat. I don't know. I'm just going to call him Got, probably. That sounds more awesome anyways. Yeah, so you're going to want to go ahead and be Got again. Because there is something that you can only do if you beat Got on the first day. Yeah, you have to beat Got on the first day in order to be, to be able to do this. And you will see exactly why. I'll try to explain it the best I can. I never really understood it myself the first time I uh, learned how to do it. Because I didn't understand why you had to beat him on the first day. But now I kind of do. Alright. So... Yeah, just go ahead and fall over, dude. Fall asleep. Go into a deep slumber. And then fall into the pit from which you'll eventually fall out of. I mean, climb out of. You're not going to fall out of the pit that you fell into. What am I talking about? Okay, so, um, this might actually be a good opportunity to show the other way you can beat God, the cheaper way, if I can get there easily. And also, it'll be a good opportunity to show that you don't have to go through the entire temple again in order to fight the boss because there's something at the beginning of each temple that will that will allow you to warp right to the boss so oh no no what I was gonna land on the platform there did whatever <laughs> I, I thought I think I would, would have landed on the platform which just might keep falling but oh okay you know what I'm just gonna meet you at the top of that thing I'm just gonna meet you at snowhead in just a moment what? Eh, no. That's, that's just wrong. Oh, come on. What? Oh, Fuck. Okay, guys, I finally made it back up to Snowhead, and I guess this initiates a cutscene for some reason. Ye who hold my remains. <gasps> Return to the appointed place and face me. Whoa! Giant pillar of green light just hits that. And that's your warp to the boss. I'm so glad they have that in this game. Otherwise, some of these things, some of these side quests would just be damned annoying. Alright. And float away, Goron gotta be one powerful tractor beam light if it can lift a Goron. Alright, and here we are in Goth's room. 
now I'm going to try and show you the cheap way to beat this guy that I learned a little recently. Oh, I don't have arrows. Come on. Give me arrows. Thank you. And magic, maybe? Nope. Just more arrows. Well, I guess that's useful, too. Okay. I'm going to want the, my arrows and the bunny ears, maybe. Actually, I want fire arrows first. What am I thinking? There you go. And we'll release Scott. I'm not going to do my epic voice this time, because... Why would I need to do that? You already know his name. And it'll show it again here for you, and I don't have to say it again. Yeah. It's not as epic the second time, or third, or fourth, or fifth, whatever. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, just a second, guys. Alright, guys, sorry about that cut. I had to head off to the magical land of real life for a little bit, if you can imagine that. Alright, first of all, for though, you're going to want to switch to your regular arrows here, and then just run over up here to up here. Stand around here. And he's going to start shooting electricity at you like that. He's not supposed to hit you. What? Oh, now they hit me, he's gone? Is that what happens? Okay, I'm just going to wait for him to come around. Because you can hit this guy with arrows, and it hurts him, so. Is he coming? Anytime soon, there he is. Okay, go away. Yeah, I don't know if this is any more effective than just chasing him. Okay, gonna have to wait for him to come around again. Annoying. Yeah, this isn't what's supposed to happen, by the way. He's just supposed to stay there and shoot electricity at you the whole time. I don't know why he didn't. But if he does that, you can just keep hitting him repeatedly over and over. And it's, oh, come on. Now I'm not going to be able to get him anyways. Because I only have three arrows left. That's not enough to kill him. What the hell? I just screwed that all up. I'm going to need the Goron's Mask pretty soon here. Yeah, random stalactites falling around me. Thanks for that. Alright, and one more shot. Can I hit him? Okay, I got him, but that's not enough, so... Gonna have to pull out the old Goron Mask tricks, I guess. These, these old antics. This old quark. What else can I say? It's just old, even though we've only done it once. Okay, stop hitting nothing, and just go. Okay, ah, why is he so deadly accurate with that thing? There's not even anything you can do in midair with that, so. I don't know why I'm showing this anyways, either. I've already fought this guy not too long ago, either. This is like two episodes ago that I fought him. Okay. You know what? It's still in the morning of the first day. I can still get you, God. I'll get you yet. I'll get you yet, Gadget. Is that how the line goes? I don't even know. Okay, can I hit him, please? Just get off the snow. Get off the snow. There you go. You don't want to be in the snow, Goron. I know this is where you all always want to be, technically, but... Hey, what? Bounce back much? Okay, this is just ridiculous. I might be speeding this up now, so I'm probably going to be talking slowly, or more clearly, at the very least. Okay. Uh, oh, stalactites are annoying! Get out of my way! <laughs> what the hell is going on? Oh my goodness. Hey, 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 hey! I'm gonna get you, God! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! If you can get off the side of the wall, please. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I've never had this much trouble fighting him. There we go, finally. Thank you. See, I screwed that all up, and I still beat him on the f in like with plenty of time to spare on the first day. So this is not hard once you figure out that you can just refight the bosses on the first day like that. It's quite useful. Okay, we'll go ahead and head into the portal here. I don't think they actually make you watch the cutscene again. At least not the one where with, like, the giant people in the bubbly world. We'll probably have, we'll probably get to watch the uh, springtime one. No, not even the springtime cutscene. Just puts you right down here with a bee over there, or a wasp, whatever that is. Alright, so the reason you want to do that, actually, before I can do that, I have to go get the gold dust. Yes. There is actually a use for the gold dust. It's not just to look pretty. 
and put on your eyes to make you look all nice and pretty for the high school dance or something. No. There's actually a purpose to it. And I'm going to show you what it is. So, I, but first I have to actually go get... Oh no, it's blocked again. Right, you know what? I'm going to meet you in this exact spot, roughly, later in just... Well, in a few seconds for you, with the gold dust in tow. I have to go get the powder keg and then race and then... Yeah, okay. I don't want to talk to you. You know what? You guys don't want to listen to this either, so just cut. What the hell? Okay, guys, I'm just interjecting here really quick. I blew up the place and it said, and but I decided to come back to the Gorm powder keg seller to see what he says. It looks like you managed to succeed. Knowing your skills, I feel fine letting you handle powder kegs on your own. If it it was bad for me to put you through such a dangerous test. I want you to take this as my apology. And he gives you a powder keg. A free one. Cool. Yep. Powder kegs are very volatile, so you can carry only one at a time. If you shoot them with an arrow, they'll explode as soon as they're, as they're, as soon as they're hit. So be careful. Alright, so that's useful. So, yeah, as you can see, there's only one that we can carry at a time. And I did get the gold dusk there, too. So, But I'm going to keep to my promise and meet you where I said I would meet you. So, hold on. Okay, everyone, this is the same relative spot I said I would meet you, but it is now 12 noon on the first day. So, now that I have the gold dusk, as you can see here, duh, uh, I can take this over to the mountain smithy, and this is going to be extremely useful to you, trust me. Okay, so just go ahead and roll on over to the mountain smithy entrance. Ew, that's a gray waterfall. Gray waterfall going into such a beautiful blue, uh, water. Okay, and now that the now that it's springtime, the mountain smithy here, the hearth is unfrozen as you can see. So let's talk to this guy. Ooh, goo, goo, I don't want to talk to you, Garbo, whatever your name, Gabora. There it is. Fetch our customer some coffee, quick like. Now let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. All right, to reforge your sword, it'll cost you 100 rupees. It'll be ready at sunrise. You have to let us hold on to your sword until then. Keep in mind that you have to use it. Your, your, uh, after you use your reforged sword 100 times, it'll lose its edge and be, return, be back to its original sharpness. So, would you like it re reforged for 100 rupees? Oh yeah. I forgot about this part. You, okay, you need 100 rupees and gold dusk then. Not gold dusk. Did, have I been saying that this whole time? Gold dusk. I meant gold dust. All right. So, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna meet you right back here in front of the mountain smithy's place or in the mountain smithy's whichever after i've gone and collected a uh, silver rupee from clock town just a moment okay guys i'm back now and now i have 111 rupees which is much better okay and yeah he needs 100 rupees yeah okay it'll be ready by sunrise and if we use it 100 times then it'll be uh bad again so well it sounds like a pretty good deal uh, an upgrade to our sword that's kind of nice since we're not going to be getting the Master Sword in this game. Spoiler alert. Okay. So now that we've done that, we've given him our sword, which means we obviously can't use it. And we're going to have to wait until sunrise to uh, get that. So I'm just going to go ahead and play the song of Double Time, or... Is that what it's called? Yeah, it is. I'm going to play that until I re... Well, twice, basically, to reach the dawn of the second day, and I'll meet you then. Sorry for all the cuts in this episode. God, this video is going to have so many cuts in it by the end of it. It's going to have so many cuts in it that you're going to be all flustered and your face is probably going to look something like this. Yeah, really. Okay, so let's see if he has our sword done. I kept you waiting, but it's done, see? We got the Razor Sword. It's been upgraded and reforged into the Razor Sword. This new sharper blade is a cut above the rest. Use it to a cut... Use it up to 100 times without dulling its superior edge. Seriously, look at that thing. That thing's like a machete. Or what, I don't even know what to call it. It's, look, it's just awesome. Now, keep in mind that after you use this 100 times, the blade will lose its edge and return it to, original to its original sharpness. Now, here's a secret. If you bring me gold dust before this sword loses its edge, I'll be able to make it the, to make it the strongest sword around. You got that? Gold dust. Ugh, ugh. Gold dust, you say? Well, I just happen to have some. You know, because I'm a Goron, I raced in it, I just like... Can you imagine that Link just rolling around without being a Goron? 
That would be weird. Okay. Hmm. Hey now, that's a mean joke. Your sword has already been reforged into a razor sword. Unless, do you want me to make you a stronger sword? To do that, I'll need gold dust. Do you have any? I do, in fact. Don't take my bottle, though. That's mine. You can have the gold dust. That's all fine. Just not my awesome bottle. Because a bottle is so much more important than dust. Gold, even. And it's even top quality. Why, even if I use it to reforge a, your sword, there will still be some left. Alright, just for you. I'll do this for free. But don't tell anyone. Thanks for dropping in. Now then, I'm straight off to work. Come back tomorrow morning. Ooga, ooga, ooga. And that's that. Uh, looks like we're going to go a bit past 15 minutes here, but who cares? Alright, so we're going to go ahead and play the song a double time again. And I guess I can explain why you need to have beaten Got on the first day in order to do this while I'm doing this. It's because, uh, well, as you know, beating Got makes it springtime in the mountains. And that cause also causes the hearth in the mountain smithy to become unfrozen. And that's how you'll be able to get your sword upgraded. Now, the first upgrade costs 100 rupees, and it takes uh, one full day in order to for your sword to be ready. And then further after that, it takes an it takes gold dust and another day for your sword to be completely reforged into your uh, level two sword, if you will. So that's a total of two days you have to spend. So if you be got on later than the first day, then plain and simple your sword would would be ready te on the on the technical fourth day which doesn't exist so it's impossible yeah all right so give me my sword now i want it i kept you waiting but it's done see your razor sword has been strengthened has been strengthened now it's a gilded sword it doesn't look quite as awesome but it's still pretty freaking epic newly forged your sword is better than ever and will never break just like the big war on sword yeah no matter how many times you use it, it will never lose its edge. Try it. Oh, I sweat. I used up most of the gold dust, but just a tiny bit was left, so I got rid of it for you. Got rid of it, eh? I wonder what you did with it. Who knows? Okay, so, yeah. That's basically your big Oron sword for this game, because, like, the razor sword is, like, the giant's knife that'll break eventually, but the, but the big Oron sword, this is the, is the gilded sword. It'll just never break. It's totally awesome. There's the moon again without its face. Cool. Alright. And I think this this episode has gone on for long enough. Even though we've technically only really done one thing, it was one very complex thing. So, um, for, really quick. That's a giant blue. Don't ask me. You can't. You can either fight it or run. It's up to you. Then I'll fight it. Goodbye. Okay, so yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. And until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you. And good night.